Good morning and welcome back to our project here at Shelburne Road, Lansdowne Gardens. We're going to have a look at some more soil progress today, so follow me on through and have a look inside. So in our last episode on our video blog, the site was at early preparation stage. Um, a lot of demolition, a lot of site preparations, um, timber removals, uh, wall removals, and making this safe site essentially is what the guys have been doing for the last eight weeks. Um, it has quite a large footprint uh, inside, so a lot of steel is needed, a lot of timber uh, was replaced, and obviously some uh, block walls also. Let's come on, on through and have a look in more detail. So here at the open plan, back wall of the house, you can clearly see the new steel beam, goalpost sections. Um, we've also got a central column. And you're getting closer here, you can also see the reinforced concrete base pad, give you an idea of the extent of uh, restructuring that we had to implement here. This is the whole back wall of the house. Partly had to be rebuilt. Our engineers also instructed to rebuild the timbers at wall plate level, rafter level. If you follow us in through here, you'll also see the first floor joists were all fully replaced, restructured, um, new damp proof membranes fitted and fully uh, noggined and supported internally. So on the inside here you can see some of the original brickwork, the original chimney and fire breasts. We're going to um, retain as much of that as possible and also you can see the steel frames more clear here now as you step inside. Full goalpost frames internally with central columns. Here you can still see the um, exposed reinforced concrete pads. I'll give you an idea of the scale of um, base pads and, and steel reinforcement. Full mesh inside. All the first floor joists were fully replaced, all by instruction from our engineers. And you can still see there's more joists on attic level to be fitted. Again, you can see the front of the building here, more of the original brickwork and bay windows. And obviously just due to the period of construction, a lot of the original joinery had to be replaced. Some nine inch timbers, uh, some 12 inch timbers also which was quite unusual, pretty non-standard, and over five meter spans. Make our way upstairs, we can have a look at the first floor level. Okay, the crew are still working away here on the main timber uh, skeleton and structure. So the whole house is secure now, um, all the steel is in place. So you can clearly see then the attic choice and the condition of some of the original timbers, the left-hand side here, some herringbone structuring um, for reinforcement of the, of the joists and nogging sections. That will all be replaced and upgraded. Your ply boards, uh, all replaced, glued and screwed, and all of the new timbers um, fitted onto the external wall with new stainless steel joist hangers. The stairs are uh, gonna be replaced also. They're just in place at the moment, just to give access to the upper levels. All of these side gable wall will be fully insulated, uh, plastered, skimmed, scratch coat is on there. This will be the new master bedroom and ensuite. And you get a view up to the attic space here um, as the guys have it all stripped back. To give you an idea of some of the extra reinforcement of timbers um, between the existing and the original. It's minus two today, so I think I'll stand here for a few minutes to get a bit of heat while I'm talking to you. So uh, you can see the back wall of the house. Um, most of that had to be um, rebuilt in block work. The original brick and, and cavity wall was in a really bad condition. Um, a full new ring beam was poured, reinforced ring beam was poured at wall plate level and that spans all the way across to the gable wall. So a lot of engineering went into this project, a lot of restructuring, a lot of um, reinforcement of, of timbers and, and block wall, uh, steel skeleton, before we could start on the, the main renovation, the decorative renovation and the uh, new extension on ground floor, where the chimney breast was removed to make way for mm. the lift access. As I said in our last episode, we have a disability requirements for our clients in this project. So a new um, three level lift system is going to be built in here. And that will give you a, um, a skeleton idea of the, the steel and reinforcement that's going in to, to take the lift shaft. Let's have a look up to the attic space. So here you can see the original dormer windows and uh, timber skeleton structure. It's still um, to be reviewed in more detail by our engineers. Most of it seems okay. We're going to uh, retain as much of that as possible. The windows obviously will be replaced, full air tightness membranes, insulation. Uh, plaster skim and, and finishes internally and anywhere that needs to be reinforced um, and stud walls replaced we will do that um, maybe some steel beams will need it will be needed on the, the floor level this gives you an idea of the space that's up this level we've got pretty much two rooms and um, a study area and the new stair access down to the first floor there's also um, two dormer windows one to the back garden and one to the street for dual aspect view so a great space for the family here and um, 
a great overflow space for the main dwelling. Okay, here at the front entrance of the site, you can see the original granite plinth and metal rail. Um, the original trees here and the roots have uplifted a lot of that. So we're going to reinstate that um, back to its original format and, and uh, pedestrian access. Some of it is, is damaged, but it's going to be repaired. And some of it is stored here. You see the, the granite plinths. And around to your left hand side, if you pan to your left, you can see part of the rail which is stored. So we have a full um, conservation report and, and method statement on that uh, by our engineers to reinstate it and, and have it powder coated and painted black. And possibly a, a planning permission then for a new vehicle access and driveway uh, to the front garden. So here you can still see the front elevation. The last visit we looked at, um, nothing has really changed obviously with regards to front. Windows will be the big uh, change here. Um, uh, insulation will be on the gable wall and, and on the back, but the original um, design and, and characteristics are all going to be retained here. Maybe some new metal uh, downpipes and some repairing of the pointing, um, an original brick pointing that was damaged. Here you can see the crew are preparing some drainage, um, a new universal manhole chamber and access chamber here for waste and um, rainwater runoff. You can also see the original foundations are exposed here and the original um, granite base. Come on, on through, we have a look at the back. Okay, here we have the original uh, reception room. We're going to have curtain doors opening back to the kitchen, dining, open plan space. New glazing section here, sliding doors, and the sunroom on the left hand side. It's going to be a bespoke triple glazed system. Our utility and, and lift shaft here on the left, in between the stairs and hallway. We're going to have a new arch opening, plaster opening, and we're going to mimic that again here with the original brick arched uh, finishes. This is all going to be repaired. Um, and made good here. You can see the original brickwork. Um, we're going to reclaim and repair as much of that as possible and leave that exposed with some shelving and decoration. Here at the back of the house, you can see the huge goalpost frame our engineers have designed and the crew have fitted. Um, we've also got a central column. So, all of these steel columns here, these one, two, three columns at the back, are all going down to 1200 square RC pads. Uh, and that's supporting the whole back wall of the house. Here you can see all of the new joists re replaced, uh, new 12 inch beams and uh, nogging sections to support. And we've also got your um, M12 bolts, bolting all of those together. We'll have a look at the back and we'll have a view of the back elevation. Here you can see the back garden wall we looked at in the last episode. So the foundations were deemed okay. Um, the upper levels of the maybe five or six foot of brick will be replaced. Um, but that'll be at a later stage, but our new structure is going to step inside and stand alone independently from that wall. Uh, we, you can see the back wall um, elevation on the first floor, which was rebuilt and restructured. You can see the ring beam just below the window sills. Um, the full reinforcement ring, ring beam port at first floor level. And also on the first floor, just below the attic joists we looked at earlier, full ring beam and on the gable wall. And all of the timbers at attic and uh, first floor replaced. The new timber wall plates replaced and rafters um, at, at, at roof and attic level replaced. The windows are uh, on order, ready for installation. So we've just got some temporary um, plastic sheeting uh, for protection in place at the moment. That'll give you the idea of the, of the, the new openings. Okay, that's it for today. So thanks for joining us. We'll see you on the next episode where we'll have the windows fitted, more internal walls built, more structure built on the back of the house. And also we're gonna have the sunroom taking shape. Uh, so you can see the foundations and you'll see the, the profile of that. Thanks for joining us and see you soon. Don't forget to uh, log on to Plantech and Newhouse, all of our social media platforms, www.plantech.ie and www.newhouse.ie. Thank you.